So today we're going to have a look at a compact van. This is an Aldis Majestic 125. It's a three berth motorhome with four belted seats. This one's a 2016 2.2, 150 brake horsepower. So it's a chain, not a cam belt, and it's six meters long. So let's go and have a look around. So we have a water, we're filling the fresh water tank. Cassette toilet. Then we move on to the gas. Um, good sized gas lockers for putting two gas bottles in. Now there's a hatch here, I'm not gonna open it and show you because it'll ruin the surprise when we go inside. So I'm gonna leave that for when we get inside the van. And then what we've got here, we've got our leisure battery. And while we're at it, I'll just put the hook up in. I'll tell you what I did forget to show you. Just down here, we have our fresh water drain off and also our wastewater drain off. And this is the flue here for the heating system. And it's a whale heating system. And I'll show you how to operate that in a minute. So, up above here, we have the uh, Dometic um, awning and then diesel. So let's go have a look inside. And this is what I mean here. What we've got is we've got a good storage area. And then what happens is if we drop this down, we've now got a fixed bed. We've got a storage for when we're traveling. And then at night, we can just drop it down and we've got a nice fixed bed. But it's ideal, really, you could put your bikes in here as well and then obviously take them out when you get to wherever you're going. And then a nice fixed bed. So while I'm at the back, I'll just show you the bathroom. It is a compact bathroom because it is a compact van. Um, we have the toilet and then we've also got the basin. And then what will happen is we've also got a shower area there. And then we have an extractor fan above and then we have a hops. We've just put the gas on, so we'll bring the gas through. There we go. And then we do have a hot plate as well. So don't forget, you can only use that when we have a hookup in. And then we have the Thetford grill oven. And then moving on here, we have the Dometic fridge. So there we can put that on to mains electric. We've then got leisure battery, and then if we move over to gas, the way we operate the gas, we hold in, hit the igniter, and if you can hear that's lit, but to prove that it has lit, we have a little indicator here. Can you see how that's rising up now into the green? So now we've got our fridge working on the gas. So before we carry on um, setting the van up, I'm just gonna show you the front area. So what we've got here is, We've got our dinette area with the two belted seats. And then we've got the cab. It is based on a Persia Boxer. It's six speed. We also have media pack and all your mod cons there. And then it, this has got a reversing camera on as well. We've also got a little tally in here. And then this will make up into a little bed as well. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna move over here and show you the control panel. So what we've got, that's your master switch. If we switch that off, everything's off. And then switch it back on again. We've got our lights, we've got our pump. And if you can hear, it's just priming everything up there. And then we've got our outside awning light, which we can put on. So if you heard the pump just, it was just priming up the heater, the hot water tank. And there we go. We've got our water coming through. If you are priming up for the first time, I would go in and just open the taps just really to let any air, let any air out. And obviously every time you use the hot water, it will automatically fill up the hot water tank. Um, while I'm in here, I'll just show you the set for toilet. 
simple to use, press down, that sends the water around and then we can open and close and this does take the water from the fresh water tank. We've also got a microwave and we've got a storage as well. These are nice lockers, nice lockers there. And then just above the cab as well, we do have a sunroof. So let's get the hot water and the heating on. Okay, so here's our whale control panel. So the tap indicates is for water heating. The, the picture of the little van is for heating the inside of the van. And it's very simple to use. So we press on. Gas means we can put the water, we're putting the water on, on the gas. Gas and electric. Gas and electric on two kilowatts. And then we've got electric on one kilowatt, electric on two kilowatt. So you've got your choice of whatever you want to use. Now below we have the heating. Same as what we do with the water, we can switch that on. So we've got gas there, we've got gas and electric. Electric one kilowatt, electric two kilowatts, electric three kilowatts, and then gas. Now for heating the van for the temperature, all we do is we press on the plus, and we can select our desired temperature there. And I don't know if you've heard that, the fan's kicked in on the heater, so it will start to then warm up the van. But the whale system there, nice, easy control panel to use. Fuses, I haven't shown you fuses. So there we've got, we've got the 230 for charger, water heater, um, heater, sockets, and then we have the 12 volts again, which are all labeled up with your lights, your pump, space heater. So nice and easy to get at. So the Aldis, I've shown you where the leisure battery is. I've shown you where your fresh water and wastewater tanks are. We'll show you your drain off your water heater. Now that's important to drain it off, basically, um, because if you're not using the van, just drain it off. Um, one, it's good habits for winter time, and also you don't get stagnant water um, in the van. So what we've got here, can you see there? There's our water heater at the back, and then we have our pump. And then what we've got, there's our drain off for our water system. So we just turn that up. Can you hear that draining out? Because we've got the pump on, the pump's automatically filling up the water heater. And then just to the side here, we've got our gas valves. So we've got the oven, hobs, hot water. And basically, if I turn this one off here, it'll isolate um, the oven, so no gas will get to it. And then in the next cupboard, we have the other two which is fridge and heating as well. We've got a nice compact van here. We've got the fly screens and blinds, and all the switches for all the different lights. Um, but it does what it says on the tin, really. It's a compact van. I like the idea of the storage at the back and also um, dropping it down then to make up the fixed bed. We have got a separate area here. Um, although it's not big, but it's a compact van and it's given you everything you need to go out motor roaming. So Aldis Majestic.